<laughs> but just in time for not Valentine's Day anymore, guys. We waited. I waited till after Valentine's Day, and I didn't really wait. I just had the thought that maybe for your next 364 days of preparation, or however many days it is till next Valentine's Day, uh, we were talking about going on dates. And I think there are some things that I learned over the course of my tenure, tenure as a single person, and uh, steps, rules of thumb for good dates. Step one, as we mentioned before, pick them up. We covered that. Pick them up because there's nothing. And not physically. Some girls don't like that. That's we'll say that for the end of the day. We'll say that for the <laughs> hey, we will get to the physical. Only if you're strong enough. <laughs> yeah, we will get to the physical pickup. It's embarrassing to drop a girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't want to be dropping girls, especially when you just met them. Um pick them up. And okay, so so this goes before picking up. This goes before picking up. Um step one really is before the date even happens. You meet a girl, however you meet her, whatever. If it's a girl you just kind of met, like you met her at a bar, you met her online, um, definitely talk to her. Don't talk to her too much. Don't feel like you're like overbearing, you know. A, a, ca- a, a tasteful good morning text is nice. But, I mean, every guy plays it differently. I try not to... I'm not a good texter in the first place. And, and if I keep on starting conversations, I know at some point I'm going to forget to respond or something like that. And it's just like, you kind of got to... You have to kind of like play within the bounds. Like you want to show that you're interested, but you don't want to seem too interested um, because sometimes that can be a turnoff to be too interested, especially for girls because girls are always on the lookout and they will give you what I call, I believe I may have mentioned this on the podcast before, the pressed test. And the pressed test is that at some point during your texting conversations when you just meet a girl, She's going to go a very long time without responding. And I don't know if this is conscious or subconscious, but they always do it. And what you have to do, and I cannot stress this enough, is nothing. Nothing. If you text her and she goes two, three, four, five, eight hours without responding, nothing. Nothing. Because you are in the middle of the press test. She is checking, how pressed is this guy? <laughs> how pressed is this guy? And so what you have to say is, hey, I texted you. If you don't have time to get back to me yet, that's cool. I'm not worried about it. You're probably worried about it. Everybody is worried when nobody responds. No, you're pressed for pussy. You're pressed. Obviously, you're pressed. <laughs> Guys live 100% of the day. Pressed and depressed. <laughs> pressed and depressed. All right? So we know you're pressed. I know you're pressed. You know you're pressed. Don't show it. Don't show it. Ball it up. Stuff it down deep inside and just wait. And I guarantee you, later on in the day, she will respond with some stupid excuses to why she didn't respond. And then you just carry the conversation on. Don't harp on it, obviously. Just keep playing along. If she doesn't, it's not a great sign. Terrible sign. Terrible sign. But you get one follow-up, and the follow-up has to be the next day. Follow-up has to be the next day. So next day, you are allowed one more text. If, you, if you're having a text conversation with a girl, she doesn't respond for a long time, chances are she will respond later that day. Or she might respond the next morning. If she responds the next morning, that's not a great sign either. You know, because she went through a full day knowing that you texted her. Yeah, but also, if you sent a good morning, the next day you can't send another good morning, because that looks weird. It looks weird. It looks weird. So what you have to do... You have to imagine what a screenshot could be. (laughs) Yes. That a girl could tweet and go viral. Yeah, exactly what Eric said. Imagine... And just do the opposite. Your phone screen plastered on Twitter, and don't be (laughs) that phone screen. Do not be that phone screen. Just... The next morning, don't send her a good morning text. Wait till like midday, 2 p.m., random time. You got to make it seem casual. You can't make it seem like I woke up and the first thing I thought to do before I took my morning piss and brushed my teeth was to text you again because you still haven't texted me back. Bad move. You text her again and then you can either make a joke about it or you can just act like it never happened. But either way, and then at this point we're going into like 
Or it just has to be completely off topic. Yeah. And spontaneous. Like, just like, yeah. hey, you want to like do this or something like that. Something like, which leads me to my next step, which is be spontaneous. If you plan something too far in advance, girls love to think. They love to overthink about stuff, as do guys. Everybody overthinks. Everybody does that. We're all guilty of it. What happens is, if you plan something too far in advance, then in a lot of situations, you say like where you you say where you're gonna go. Like first of all, don't say where you're gonna go. Don't say where you're gonna go. Just say hey, you want to do something. I I'm a big fan of either the day before or the day of even. But the day of is risky because they might be busy. Depends on your mode. You know what I'm saying? But at the very least, just say, hey, you want to do something on Friday. Don't say, hey, can I take you out to this place? <laughs> because then they're going to, okay, this guy's serious. And then they're going to get in their head about like, oh, this guy's like really serious about taking me out. And they're going to start imagining all the situations. Oh, my God, what if he's weird? Blah, blah, blah. He's like, blah, 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 blah. They're going to be able to picture themselves at the, the restaurant that you say. Uh, and they're going to be able to imagine the date and play through every scenario. And trust me, by the time it gets to the day of, you're going to get the text that goes, oh, my God, you're going to hate me. But blah, 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 blah. So don't do that. Just be spontaneous. Now we're at the actual date. Pick her up. We're back at... This is now step... (laughs) Step one again. (laughs) Step one again. Circling back around. Yeah. That was step... It's that important. (laughs) Yeah. That was step negative two. We're doing the Star Wars style. Step three is the first step. (laughs) George Lucas style, I took you back in time with better production for steps ones and two. One and two. Steps one and two. Step three, you pick her up at the date. Take her to a place that you are familiar with but not too familiar with because you don't want to go to somewhere where uh i mean and, and this is depend like if you're not a social per if you're not really a person that like goes out much then you know it you might not have any choice but Assuming you have a friend that works at a bar or something like that, you've hung out in that bar before, you're casual with a bartender, you know a server, something like that, or even if you know it's a place that you might run into somebody you know, that's always a good sign. It's always a good sign. Yeah. Girls are looking for, if they don't know you, their first judgment is, especially when you're a girl, guys don't think about this as much, but girls are always wondering, is this guy A, a psycho, but mostly, is this guy cool, you know? If you if you go out and somebody oh what's up, kind of verifies and I'm okay this guy isn't a complete freak. Obviously he's well regarded. So take a girl to a place that you might run into somebody you know. You yeah. don't want to go to a place that you like work at. Yeah, get a free alley oop. Exactly. Just get somebody to fucking back you up a little bit. You know, have a bartender and be like hey good to see you. Something like that. And then this is the most important thing. One of the most important things. Sit at the bar. Mm. sit at the bar why because what you're looking for up to this moment you've been texting and when you're texting you have an unlimited amount of time or there's really no time limit but you have an amount of time to think of the perfect thing to say you know when you're in a face-to-face conversation it's much more difficult you have to be able to have a response within a, a, a very short amount of time so it doesn't become awkward you know what i'm saying yeah when you sit at the bar with a lot of other people around, the bartender's real close to you, there's so many opportunities to just kind of branch, talk about this, talk about that, talk to the person next to you. It's a good thing to have somebody talk to you, I think, on a date, because maintaining four hours of flawless conversation, we can't even fucking do that, dude. Yeah. And we're professionals. Yeah, that's why it's either that or like something like a movie. Where yes. it's like, all right, we don't have to talk for the next two hours. See, I can spend most of this time either seeing if you're going to avoid me putting my arm around you or thinking of like a bunch of scenarios to run after this is over. Okay. Now, this is where I'm going to say, uh, uh, I'm going pig, to uh, piggyback on, or not piggyback, but kind of like say a little thing. You completely shut me down. <laughs> it's completely, it's not going <laughs> to fucking own you, Eric. You <laughs> fucking ruin your whole career. No. Um, what Eric just said is true, but it's true if you already know the girl. If you already know the person, you've already talked, it's a girl that you work with, that you finally decided to take out, it's a girl that you're in class with, that you already have a rapport with, then a movie is good. You take a girl to a movie, 
you've already had conversations. The whole everything I've listed up to this point is really about how to talk to a person that you don't actually have any relationship with. You know what I'm saying? Like True. I'm talking about how to text them. I'm talking about sitting at a bar so that there's opportunities for conversation. If you already know the person and now you're just kind of bridging the gap into like, hey, maybe we should go out sometime, then a movie's good because for me, and this is just coming from me, I had a very I, I used to take girls to movies and the movie, you're kind of putting yourself in a... There's only one thing that could happen in a movie to make it a good date, really. Because if you walk out of that movie without having put your arm around her, which I've done countless amounts of times, <laughs> it was a bad date. It just... It, it's like... It, I mean, unless you fucking hit a Hail Mary at the end and somehow like managed to overcome everything you just... The hole you put yourself in. But <laughs> when you tell a girl you're going to a movie, we have all know what happens at movie dates. At some point, you have to put your arm around her, and you don't know how long it's going to be. It could be, do you wait? Do you do it from the jump? Previews are on, arm around her. It's too soon. Got to play it cool. But you can't be like me, and then when you know the movie's about to end, and be like, okay, I got to do it now. <laughs> you do it on the credit roll. <laughs> yeah, just so I can say Fuck. I did. <laughs> Fuck. So, so it, depending on what kind of guy you are, Movie might work, but I would say the main thing there is if you already know the person, the movie's a good move. If you don't, you got to have an environment where you can talk because a lot of times, you know, in order to justify the next move, you have to have established some type of dynamic. You know what I mean? Like Mm -hmm. to just go from like, okay, we don't know each other. Let's sit down and continue to not know each other while we watch this movie and then at some point I'm just going to put my arm around you and try to make out with you. It's like, you still don't, you, all the things that I just listed, is he cool? Is he not a psycho? They still don't know. Yeah. You you could be making out with a psycho during the Wolverine Origins movie. You know? Yeah. They don't fucking know. So, movie, yes, if you know him, but public outing, I cannot recommend enough something that involves drinking I'm sorry. I can't <laughs> recommend it enough. I mean, look, you can do sober dates and coffee dates, but like, you got to be some type of motherfucker to pull, you know, to to really fucking slam dunk a, a noon coffee date. I mean, it depends. I don't know. It's just like the vibes are different, you know? Yeah, I've never <laughs> even done that. Exactly. I don't even know how to do it. I, I've never, it's never even crossed my mind doing like a, a, a midday date. Because the goal is you want, it, and when I say this, it's not that um, I'm saying you got to get laid on the first date. That's not what I'm saying. But by the end of the date, you kind of have to have broken that barrier. You kind of, especially at this age, by the end of your first date, you should have at least like given her a kiss. Yeah, you know, you, for it, sure. you got on a date at 28 years old. You don't even kiss her at the end. It's like, what do we just do? <laughs> you know, we're both we're both adults. Okay. We both know what the expectations are. Yeah. And so it's like you leave a date and if you don't have any of that happen, then like you're just going to both go home and be like. Yeah. You can't do like an awkward hug. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That's cute when you're like 16. Yes. When you're 28, the girl will make fun of you to all of her friends. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you took me out <laughs> to coffee in a movie yeah. and then <laughs> didn't. He wanted to kill me or <laughs> fuck me. Because <laughs> he didn't do either. <laughs> That's really the main problem. What? The goal here is that the the kiss has to happen, and this is something I didn't realize when I was younger. The move, whatever that move is, doesn't have to be a kiss, but something, a handhold, a arm around the shoulder or whatever, those things have to happen spontaneously and and mainly not necessarily spontaneously they can come out of somewhere but it can't be at the times when they expect it you you drop a girl off at her house and at that moment you're both adults and you both know this is the time when he's supposed to try to kiss me yeah and me being me and some guys are good at this but i feel like a lot of guys aren't probably most guys are not good at this when i know i'm expected to do something it's like it is literally the equivalent of somebody going yo jimmy Tell us a joke. Well, now I can't be funny. Yeah. It's literally that, but like, hey, Jimmy, you got to kiss this girl now. And it's like, <laughs> well, now I can't. I can't because you know I'm going to, and it's going to be weird either way. 
Yeah. Like we're going to be standing there talking, having a conversation, and the whole time we're like droning on, yes, yeah, so blah, 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 had a good time tonight. And the whole time she's going to be thinking, is he going to try to kiss me now? And the whole time I'm thinking like, should I do it now? Is this a good time? Is it going to be weird? Like blah, 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 blah. Just too many other factors. You got to sink that bucket before that. You got to make sure that you are not on the way home until you've done something. That's That would be my advice. That would be my advice. Yeah. I mean, unless you're just not feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. If it's not going well... Um, you don't have to do it just to do it. Yeah, but that's why I couldn't recommend drinking enough. Because, <laughs> because <laughs> look, the big thing that you learn um, on this Valentine's post-Valentine's Day episode is that when you go on a first date, they're nervous too. You're both nervous. And what better thing to do to cure nervousness than have a couple beers? I mean... Look, when I say this, you can read into it however you want. I don't give a shit, because that's not what I mean. What I mean <laughs> is, you're both fucking nervous. Do something that you would normally do. Go to a bar. I'm sure she goes out to bars sometimes. I'm sure she goes out with her friends. Make it a comfortable situation. You know, how many girls go out to an ice cream parlor at, at 11 a.m. on a Thursday? It's like, you know, that's you're both in a weird comfort zone at that point. But everybody knows what it's like to go out to a bar on a Thursday, you know? So... Have a couple drinks, and trust me, by the second drink, you're not going to be fucking on the bar. Obviously, that's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. So you're going to be talking. Regular conversation, just chatting. You loosen up a little bit. And once you loosen up a little bit, at that point, even if it's going badly, it's not that bad because you're drinking a little bit, you're having fun. <laughs> if it starts to go bad, you want to do a, you know, if it starts to get like really bad... Want to get a uh, bomb? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> fucking amp this up a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if I can say. Look, this is all. This is all. You know, this is all specifics here. I guess is what I'm getting at. That's all specifics. But uh, yeah, definitely that stuff. And then, um, if you're lucky enough, if you're lucky enough, you'll get invited inside. And that's really the goal of what you're shooting for. That is your goal. Not because, again, not because you're trying to bang a girl on the first date. But I'm sorry, there's just nothing worse than dropping a girl off, in my opinion. <laughs> there's nothing worse than dropping a girl off. I can't do it. Even if you do get a kiss? If, if, but you're only, it's only not going to be weird if you've already kissed. So that's what I'm saying. If you, if you kiss at the bar, or if you kiss like, when you're holding hands or something like that, or if she, even if she like leans her head on you or something like that, just to give you a signal like, I like you. I'm enjoying my time here. At that point, you've crossed the barrier, then you can drop her off, and if she's a real classy lady, that'll be the end of the night, you know? Um, but really, it's it's just about shooting for... That's why I don't... I don't even like hanging out with people unless there's no time frame. Like, I won't even hang out with someone, a friend even, if I know I have to like do something later. I just don't enjoy it. Yeah. I don't like time constraints, you know? For sure. I don't like the idea of, oh, yeah, let's let's go do something, but you work at four. It's like, all right, well, now I got f three hours? I don't yeah, live on this. What those am I going to do after that? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking think about how shitty I did at my date today while you're at work? <laughs> Thinking about how shitty I was at my date today? <laughs> no. <laughs> I realize that my advice has just gotten gradually worse throughout the course of this. <laughs> it just only pertains to you. <laughs> <laughs> as i've gone through i like start off with like good advice and by the end, i'm like just get a bunch of shots <laughs> it fucking power through it i mean if it at worst case scenario your friends are probably around just start drinking with them i mean really though <laughs> really though what's the worst that could happen if you wind up chilling with your friends afterwards do you know how many dates i've had that were saved at the fact that i could just chill with you guys after and joke about how terrible the date was as opposed to having to go home and stew about how terrible the date was yeah. instead i'd come over over, and you and Mahedi and Scott and everybody be like, fuck, did you kiss her? No, you fucking <laughs> pussy, you fucking idiot, you fucking virgin bitch. And then I'm like, ha ha, ha ha. It's <laughs> so true. But also so much better than the alternative of me sitting in my room with my head going like, would you kiss her, you fucking pussy, you fucking virgin ass bitch, you fucking bitch, couldn't you make a move, put your arms around her after the credits, fucking idiot, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so take from that what you guys can